Hey, what's up? It's Christine Horn, Life and Career Coach for Actors and Professional Actress. This is another episode of Actor Success Stories. I am so excited that my lovely client, Zipporah, is hanging with me today. Hi, Zipporah. Oh, hello. <laughs> Thank you for taking time to come on with me today. I've been doing this with everybody. May introduce yourself, who you are, where you're from, where you're based, and what you do. Okay, well, my name is Zipporah. I am. Give me your last name, too. Give me your last name. Okay, Zipporah Kapambwe. Get that full, get all the goodness in there. Yes. Um, based in Chicago, um, and I am an actress. Awesome. And did you, are you more, have you done a lot of theater, uh, or what's your background? Um, it's kind of a weird one. I've done a little bit of theater, but I don't really have like, a base I guess you would say mm -hmm. um I trained in the miser technique so that was theater based but I didn't do a lot of plays and stuff like that so gotcha how did you get the acting bug like do you remember when you got the acting bug um no it's just always just kind of been something in the back of my my head mm -hmm. um I did like uh I did like little school plays like when I was younger um, and, but so I always, and I danced, like I always was involved in the arts in some way. Um, but it wasn't until like after I was in college, I discovered the TV world of acting. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's what, cause I didn't realize like, as I was like growing up, oh, you could like make like a career out of this. Like it just never clicked in my head until, um, after college. And I was like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> right. The world, I was just kind of, you know, in school, you just see the plays and all that stuff. You never introduce the other side of it so I just thought it was just something you did like extracurricular activity or something interesting interesting but now you've gone from extracurricular to like pursuing it full force 100 <laughs> percent I sense I sense your hesitation talk to me about how did we get connected how did you d come to the world of Christine and Hollywood bound actors yeah I'm always I curious I was kind of just like struggling as far as like, okay, what do I do now that I'm trying to pursue this while also working a full-time job? Like I need some tips to help to like pro progress further. Um, and so I was on YouTube and I stumbled, I was looking up some like technique videos and I think I came across a few of your videos. I'm like, everybody said they been wa binge watched. <laughs> like, well, let me see what this chick is about. Right. So binge watching them. And they were awesome. And then um, I think maybe in one of the few of the videos you talked about um, your Facebook group and then the Booking Magnet Academy. So I checked those out. Um, and then I've been hooked ever since. I think that was like last year. In yeah, we've been connected for a minute. Yeah. You know, guys, for those of you watching at home or on your phone, wherever you're watching this, I. I don't know how it happens, but I get so like invested in each of y'all, like in all my students. So even though I have an academy and I have Facebook group members, like people don't realize like you guys like plant seeds in my in my head and, I, and I'll be like, what's Zipporah doing? I haven't heard from Zipporah. What's Anita doing? I hear from Anita. Like, you know, like you guys, I'll take, I'll hear pieces of your dream or something you're working on. And when y'all get quiet and then I'm like, okay, what you doing? <laughs> quiet. You need to, you haven't done a challenge. Because I feel like I've called you out a few times. Like, what you working on? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> so what's some, so since you've been in the Booking Magnet Academy and just, you know, because you're in Chicago, so it's a different market and you even like a little bit out, you know, it takes you a drive to come into Chicago. You're a dis clothing designer. You're working full time. And I know, um, talk a little bit about, I know you were feeling some frustration at some point because you were trying to get an agent and just trying to get started so what because i'm sure many people watching can relate what were some of the biggest struggles and they may not be you may not be totally past them yet which is fine because that's we're still working through but what did you feel like are, are some of the biggest struggles you're dealing with in the market that you're in um one huge one was just not knowing what to do i'm like there's so much like advice here and there it's like you just don't know what's best for you to do because the advice you hear is just from different people and different markets and different levels so yeah. i'm just like okay <laughs> where do i start like what do i do um especially like kind of i mentioned just having limited time it's it's like crucial to i felt like i was wasting time doing stuff that maybe i wouldn't i didn't need to do or that 
I just didn't know if I was doing what I should be doing or what's helpful for me. So just like feeling just overwhelmed and confused about like, what the heck am I doing <laughs> was really stressful. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can imagine because you want to be active, but then you're like, am I being active with the right thing? Right. You know, I talk a lot of, to my clients about doing things that have the highest ROI, highest return on investment. Like what's going to, what action can, if you can only take one action because of your schedule and life. And a lot of my clients have kids and husbands and wives, like, and, and working. So if you can only take one action in this week, that would make you feel like, okay, not just make you feel good, but actually take you to the next step. Yeah. I think that's identifying that. So do you feel like you're on a plan now? Do you feel like that is getting clearer? Yes, for sure. <clears throat> I think we did a clarity call and that helped a lot just like planning out the whole year mm -hmm. to figure out okay what do I need to do here this step this step and this step and so I think like when you we talked about ROI I think at one point I was like I don't know what I'm doing what do I do mm -hmm. I was just like really stressed about just like work and like trying to balance it and then you talked about that and that like completely changed everything for me so now I'm able to get bigger wins in a way and be more motivated Mm -hmm. and actually feel like I'm in the game of acting instead of like kind of like eh, I don't really know if I can really call myself an actor or if I can really I don't feel like I'm doing anything yeah so kind of the game as far as like wow like I'm actually progressing and I'm seeing steps in a big way instead of like in a small way which was really discouraging yeah I'm so excited to hear that and you also Zipporah took my agent attraction method so for those of you who are um have seen that and wondering what that what was is is a di one of my digital courses about finding an agent the way I like to do it. You took that and um, what well, was share with everybody your win. <laughs> well, I got an agent. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. And what what I'm curious and I haven't and you guys I haven't asked her this question before so I'm putting her on the spot. Did you because my approach to finding an agent yes there's research and yes there's things you have to do that are technical but i also approach it from a mental standpoint too of mm -hmm. attracting a certain type of energy into your life to work with you did you find that the any of the mindset piece changed the way you approach the work or i'm curious to know how when you were listening to the modules and and then implementing and doing the marketing and the love notes and how did that work for you um it was interesting i feel like as I was approaching it, I was more, I guess I could say I was more, less stressed about it and more positive about it. So um, as I was, I like wrote, I created like a vision board that I like pinned on my wall um, that was just like, okay, this is where I want to go. This is what I'm going to do. And it was more so, I guess the, fl the switch in my head was it was like if this is gonna happen but this is gonna happen right um, not, not if when yeah so mm -hmm. I wasn't like super as anxious as I've been in the past about it I'm like it's just gonna happen like I just kind of switched the I guess negative mentality for just a more like this is gonna happen this is what I want and I wrote kind of like in the attraction method I wrote like what I want what I'm looking for and like my top agents and I don't, I don't think I told you this but so the agent I applied for was on the top of my list. And I actually was about to, because I went to the open call. Mm -hmm. And I was about to, so I, I went to the open call and I did that. And then I was like, okay, I'm going to start sending out packets to all the other agents. And I never even got a chance to. Because you got signed. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, wait. I was almost like, well, Jip, I was like, wait, I didn't even get to. <laughs> I was like so shocked that it kind of happened that I was just like, oh, all right, let me just get my headshots back. And <laughs> right. <laughs> I love that. You're like, I didn't have a chance to keep putting throw, throwing feelers out there. I love, love, love that. And I'm excited for that to see how that relationship unfolds. Before we wrap, you know, something I've been asking everybody in this series there are many actors at home who feel just like you. You, for Though you may not feel like you're as far as you want to go. I mean, none of us ever do. There's always something we're striving for. But there's someone at home who's like feeling stuck and doesn't know where to start, feels like they're spinning in circles or feel like, oh, I don't know if this is for me. What piece of advice would you give? What, you know, what would you say to encourage that person? Um, 
a huge thing I would say is one, get a mentor or get a group. Don't isolate yourself. Don't try to figure it out by yourself. It's so much more stressful. It's, it's just not helpful at all. So just try to like surround yourself with people or get a mentor or get a coach. Just don't do it on your own. Um, and another one is, well, I am a woman of faith. So just stay prayed up, pray, let your emotions out. Don't hold anything in. Um, just believe in your gift and believe in God's timing for your gift and don't feel like you're behind or you haven't done something or you should be here. You see everybody else doing there, run your race and believe in yourself and believe in your gifts. Even if it doesn't show up right now, like if you know that there's nothing else you would want to do, just keep fighting for it. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. In, in God's timing for sure. Mm -hmm. Sephora, thank you so much. Congratulations. I'm a, this is my public accountability for you. Congra I'm congratulating you in advance for completing your web series that you're working on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you see, she's like, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> this is a public accountability. <laughs> so I look forward to whenever that is done because that's something the seed I'm planting in you. Um, congratulations on your clothing line and all your designs and whatever market you end up in. I know, you know, you. You are, you're working the Chicago angle, but you might be moving to another market whenever that's the time for you to do that. So blessings to you on all of that. Just keep taking steps. A small step is still a step. Yes. Amen. Yes. Thank you for sharing your story and your time Thank with you. me and my audience. Have a great day. We'll talk. I'll see you on the next Booking Magnet Academy call. <laughs> Thank you for everything, Christine. My pleasure. Bye. <laughs>